Hi ladies, this is Ashlyn at Booty Fit and the purpose of this video is to go through the reasons why your calves may hurt when you first start getting into running. Um, so reason number one and the most obvious one is calf fatigue. Um, so if your muscles are overloaded. Now lots of you come along and go, but I'm not even working that hard. How can they be overloaded? Um, if you have done little exercise before you came along to Booty Fit, um, so if you're quite inactive sedentary, it's not going to take much for your body to feel overloaded. And if this is the case, it's just about taking it easy. So make sure you rest between sessions. Um, so come along one day, rest a day, come along the next day. Um, and secondly, lots of stretching. So in previous videos, I've gone through exactly how to um, stretch various parts of your calf and your Achilles. Um, and then number three, loads of foam rolling. Um, and again, you can refer to other videos where I've showed you exactly how to foam roll your body. Um, foam rolling, it's like self sports massage. It can be really uncomfortable, um, but I always think the more uncomfortable it is, the more your body needs it, um, because it's just a really, really good way of getting rid of the knots and realigning your muscle fibers, okay? Um, another reason why, you might struggle and you feel fatigued in your calves when you first start coming along um, is if you're carrying additional weight. So obviously additional weight, ooh, it's going to take its toll on your lower extremities. OK, um, so also in addition to those stretches where I said refer to other videos, there's also a really nice dynamic stretch that you can do for your calves as well. OK, so static stretching we normally do at the end of sessions. Um, because obviously when we're exercising, we're shortening our muscles. So um, a static stretch is about lengthening them. Um, and we tend to do dynamic or moving stretches before we start the activity. Um, and it's just a way <clears throat> of warming the muscles up, getting the blood flowing around um, and mimicking movements, movements that you're going to be using while you're exercising. OK, so a dynamic calf stretch. This is the way we do an ordinary calf stretch, stretch, stretch. Um, and all you're doing is, so with your back foot, pushing the toe off the floor and holding for three, and then coming forward and pushing those hips forward for three. So pushing up and holding for three, and then coming forward and holding for three. Pushing up, and you would do this 10 times on either leg, okay? So before you run, try and do dynamic movements to warm up your calves as well, okay? Um, secondly, another reason why your calves might hurt um, is just that there's a weakness there. So if you haven't used them much before, they could just be really, really weak. Um, and a way to check is by doing a calf, um, calf raise, I was going to say a calf stretch. So what we do is I plant one foot flat on the floor. I'm not putting my body weight here. I'm literally just balancing other foot off the floor. And I just want to drive my heel up as far as it will go and back down again. OK, so doing a calf raise and as I come up, I can feel my calf muscle contracting and taking the weight of my body. So you want to see how many calf raises you can do. Um, and I'd imagine that this is going to be age, gender, fitness level um, specific. But generally speaking, you should be able to do around 30. OK, so if you can't do up to 30 of those calf raises, then you definitely need to work on strengthening your calves. So do as many as you can comfortably do, pushing yourself slightly, 18, 20, whatever that may be. Um, rest for a minute to two minutes and repeat two to three times, okay? So ladies, just to recap, if your calves are hurting when you first start getting into running, it can be calf fatigue, um, and that is about looking after your body, resting, stretching and foam rolling or it can be a lack of endurance or a weakness in your calves in which case calf raises to really help to strengthen those calf muscles okay bye bye for now